every two years we do a study of re fuels refineries and we wrote a paper, the Data Research Insight paper, called World's Best Refineries. And the paper today was an extract from, the, from that larger paper. There are 11 best refineries. They have some common threads. They're good at energy efficiency. They're good at reliability. They have high operating availability. They've invested in the right technology for the market that they operate in. So in the key metrics in energy efficiency, for example, I, sh I showed that the best refineries, the seven refineries who've been in this group for the last seven studies, have made a substantially quicker improvement in energy efficiency than the rest of the world. They've substantially reduced the amount of fuel oil that they produce compared to the refineries in the rest of the world. Um, and they are consistently high availability refineries and they also can have high process utilisation because of that high availability. And I showed that that's been the case for the last four studies, 7% higher availability uh, utilisation than the rest of the world. All refineries are improving nearly all of the time, but the best refineries are improving quicker. And so we, we see that it's a completely moving target, which is why, it's, why our clients come back time after time to see they think they've made an improvement, but maybe it's not as much as the rest of the industry. And so people are constantly looking at improvement. And this, this industry is really good at making improvements. They, they have been for 30 years. It's a necessity to improve if we want to meet our carbon, neutral carbon targets in the next 20 to 30 years, then they have to make even more improvements going forward. I think we need to look at alternative technologies as a, as a region, but the refining industry have some very clever people and we can, we can look to how we can transform ourselves, like some of the um, earlier presenters were talking about today, to, to meet those goals. What was really interesting for me personally were the new digital technologies and how they're being used in refineries. People talk a lot about this, this word digitalization and what does that really mean for a refinery and how we, we as a company who talk to refineries all the time will be able to encourage them to adopt some of these new technologies in order to continue their improvement path. By, by sharing ideas we can all learn and uh, you know every day can be a school day, can't it? And I've certainly learned a lot over the last couple of days about new technology that I didn't even know existed. The play between electric vehicles, new green hydrogen, and the internal combustion engine and refineries is, is just been eye-opening. The networking, listening to new ideas, new technology, uh, and the ability to share our knowledge. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We've got the 4.0 tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to learning from people who know things that I don't know.